If you're building a router or firewall, OpenSense and OpenWRT are two big names, but they're built for totally different setups. Let's break it down fast so you can pick the right one. First up, OpenSense. This is a powerhouse firewall and router OS based on FreeBSD. Perfect if you're rolling your own hardware or repurposing an old PC. It's packed with enterprise-grade features, stateful firewall, VPN support for WireGuard and OpenVPN, intrusion detection, and slick traffic monitoring. The UI is clean, modern, and way more intuitive than you'd expect for something this powerful. Plus, it gets frequent updates, so security stays tight. The catch? It's heavier on resources. You'll want at least 4 gigabytes of RAM and a decent CPU, especially if you're handling 10 gigabytes traffic. And forget Wi-Fi, this is wired-only territory. Now, OpenWRT is the lightweight champ. It's Linux-based, designed to breathe new life into off-the-shelf routers or embedded devices. The big sell? It's ultra-customizable, with a massive package library for everything from ad blocking to mesh networking. Wi-Fi performance? Killer. Way better than OpenSense or PFSense. But here's the trade-off. Advanced features like VLANs or policy routing can get fiddly. And upgrades? <sighs> they're not as smooth. You might need to reflash instead of a simple click and update. It's ideal for tinkerers or if you've got weaker hardware, but not the best for heavy-duty routing. So who wins? If you need a rock-solid firewall with advanced features and don't mind the hardware demands, OpenSense is your pick. But if you're revamping a consumer router or need Wi-Fi and low-power performance, OpenWRT takes the crown. Both are free, both are awesome, just for different jobs. Hit pause, Think about your setup and go crush it 